lucked out with this hotel. It's an absolute dream sort of hotel you want to stay at for more than one night and not be mid grand tour. TT day. TT day. Oh, I'm tired. But that's because it's stage 14. So go for a recon. I'm going to do the recon in the car. I don't think it's necessary to do it by bike. I'll show you what it's all about. TT day, Matthew. What's, what's more important? Winning the race or? No, being actually. first Israel start of nation rider. Well, today it's very important to be the first Israel start of nation rider. <laughs> only one competitor it will be you. You will have no excuses after today. I hope your bike will make it to the finish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the main man of stage 14, Rick Zabel. Is it Zabel or Zabel? Zabel. Zabel. Yeah, I'm preparing for the GT. Yeah. I'm really focused for this day. Yeah. A long time. It's, I marked it right in my calendar. Yeah. And now, like, this is my TT suit. I put my number already in. Got a special pocket for it and everything. Exactly. It's like it's like the, the preparation special, is key. It's a special TT suit everyone gets in the team. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I have white shoe covers. A little bit dirty because I also use them in the rain. But I think that's that makes it more aerodynamic also. And then I have my TT gloves. Here's my TT helm. And uh, so far I didn't have a look at the parkour because I think mentally it's better if you could just go in it without any clue. Yeah. And then I can always go harder because I'm afraid to miss time cut. Yeah. Then I just go. <laughs> the fear like drives me. And uh, also for warm up, I think the last 13 days I warmed up enough. So I will go. Maybe a double espresso. Do you take a radio? I don't think so. No. No? No. I, I think it's better like... I have so much experience, like, there's nothing anyone can tell me anymore. Yeah. It's like, uh, someone wants to tell Lionel Messi how to play football, like, it's not working out, man. So they call Tony Martin the Panzer Wagon? Yeah. What do they call you? I'm the Lion of Cologne. The Lion of Cologne. Like, Arguably the greatest rider Cologne's ever seen. Exactly, because yeah. we have a training group, and if you see the numbers also, Last year, stage win in Yorkshire. Yeah. That didn't happen. Like no other of my training group had a win. So yeah. this was last year. I won already. Yeah. And uh, Andre stopped the season so far. His best place was a f fourth place in Tour Under. Yeah. Niels has more the chance in Flanders to beat me, but he makes it. He ne needs to make at least a top three in Flanders. Otherwise, it's not a win, though, is it? His, it's his best place in the is a fourth place in Pyrenees this year. Yeah. And I had a third place in Tirreno Adriatico, so there's no argue that I'm again the best rider from Cologne this year. Like so, for me, it cannot get better than this. No. Are you are you going to be bike changing for the hill? Yeah, I think like I'm going to start with my TT bike. Yeah. And my TT helmet. Yeah. Until the bottom of the climb, then yeah. I change to to the to the O2 to the climbing bike with 30 wheels and my my. Uh, like my normal helmet. Yes. Guy up the, I go up the climb, then I go on top, I change back to my TT bike with the TT helmet also. I go. Then for the climb was coming, I think I go again on my road, uh, on my climbing bike. Yeah. But then on top of the climb, I will change back to my to my uh, aero bike to the one. Yes. With the 60 wheels and my aero helmet. To accelerate. To accelerate for the last 2K to make a lead out and then I sprint. Yeah. That's like my plan. I don't think anyone else is going to have that plan. I also thought about like if I go full for the GPM again like on day one, I get and maybe I can get another three points and then I'm just 80 points away from the climbing jersey. So maybe now in the last week I make a big attack and on the some, jersey. The last week is really mountainous, so exactly. there's some huge opportunities to yeah. get that jersey back <laughs> off of Ruben Guerrero. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The Chiba yeah. copy. Like maybe if everyone else goes home because of Corona. Yeah. Or it's just too cold and I get really warm jackets on and yeah. I do I'm the only one who do Stelvio. I get the one hundred points for the Chima copy and then I have the jersey base. Snowshoes. And Snow skis. Shoes, That's skis. what you need. You're a winner. Thank you. Thirty four point one kilometers of a TT. It's a tough test against the clock between the Prosecco Superiore Hills. Here's Alex Dowsett, fifteen minutes in. Well, he could really, really make the headlines if he could pull something off today. You know, he won that stage from the breakaway the other day. She'll help in the search for that new contract. And, well, this is a nice little draft that Brenle is getting now because the rider in front of him doesn't have the following car. They're actually using a van. This is a double. 
there's two Vini Zabu riders uh, together, so one's a team car for one of the riders and then the other following car is a, a van, but Brendley's using this to his advantage here. Well, that's it, a winner from a breakaway the other day. Brendley in the hot seat, his teammate looking to dislodge him now. We know that Campanat is going quicker behind, but Dalsit looking to set the fastest time. Right to left on the road, he's leaving everything out there yet again. Alex Dalsit coming to the line, but it's going to be Brendley who carries on sitting on the throne. Dalsit very, very close, but today the bragging rights go to Brendley. 5.9 seconds slower, a strong time trial, but not enough to set the fastest time. Right. Yes. How did the plan work out? Good. I didn't make top 100, but oh. I think I make top 110. So it's also good. Well, top 10. Top, it 110. Is, it's, top, eight, it's a top 10. Yeah. Matthias, well done. You beat yeah. me. We tried everything. It's because you've got... It was a hard fight between us. First intermediate, I think you yeah. he was in front. Second intermediate, you were in front. Yeah. And then it was barely five seconds. Yeah. But I have to thank you because it was because of your tips I could beat you. So yeah. yeah that was a nice but Actually, fight. one would argue it's still a win for me. Yeah. My... Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well done. That's the TT done and dusted. Only one more to go. And we'll be in Milan and finish in this race. It was good. It was good. Numbers are pretty positive. It was uh, 20th, obviously not where I want to be, but stage 14 of a Grand Tour, it's just everyone, everyone's in a completely different place. Well, I don't know why I'm wearing this. I felt like I made a good job of it, actually. But it was a good fight with Brandley, and nice to... Christ, we've got a good team here. Really nice team. Like, we all help each other. You know, you, you can go into a TT arguing that like you're racing your teammates as well, but I, I, I don't work like that. I want to help everyone go fast. That's not trying to big myself up. I just, yeah, you know, old enough and ugly enough to know that the team needs results to move up. And um, that's what we do. We want to help everyone, everyone get those results, um, not just myself. So anyway, big old stage tomorrow. Then we got a rest day. Let's not talk about the final week. Thank you, Mike. Yeah. How was your day? Well, my day today was good. No, no, no. You know? Yeah, you had good legs. Yesterday I suffered like hell, but today I started. I thought, okay, quite dancing, quite good. Yeah, yeah. But then, yeah, it was a really long day again, like five hours. But uh, you six know, if, you, if you're spinning your legs all the day, then uh, you come to the finish. You're quite okay, you can still enjoy your day and now in the evening we have pizza, we have some burgers, maybe the one or the other beer. Yeah. So I have a new day so far. Sick. And Rick? I was suffering. Yeah. Because mentally I am always suffering when I see you suffering. <laughs> I was easy, but when I see that my teammates are suffering, I'm also suffering mentally. We suffer so as one. I wait. I wait for you guys. And make sure we come in time cut. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Now pizza and beer tonight. Yes. Most important. Yeah. Pizza and beer. And then the last week. So that was the final, final day of the second week. Which is, it's been a good week. We um, we got through it. We did a, some killer lead outs. Uh, Danny was in the break today. The rest of us got round. Yeah, not really, not a huge amount to. Report from today it was quite bad, quite good legs. I'm quite happy with that. Um, this is post race meal. I take some pasta, I take some cheese, I pop it in the microwave for two minutes to melt the cheese, then I add some pesto, parma ham, and ketchup. And that is lunch every day. Hope you enjoyed this vlog. We've got a nice rest day tomorrow where we'll, we will go for a steady ride because it is a bugger of a start for the day after the rest day and the big boss is here so we'll probably go for a ride with him unless it's raining then I don't know what we'll do because I didn't ride on the last day so it's day nothing and I was absolutely fine the following day so I think I'm quite fond of no bike rest days on the Grand Tours now I think it's a thing but I won't be doing it tomorrow so 